good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy a71 and request keen to show us how to flash the stock firmware back on the galaxy a71 after flashing or after using the custom rom and show us also how to properly lock the bootloader watch the video if you want to have a stock firmware back on the galaxy a71 first of all every flashing a rom or uh, flashing a stock firmware data will get lost uh, every time so the first thing is we need to save all the internal storage data otherwise the data will get formatted and uh, clean flashing is must requires if you want no issues using your mobile phone second check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum third going back to stock firmware like if you want to flash custom firmware you need to unlock the bootloader but in case if your mobile phone is not getting OTA update, you want to update your mobile phone manually. So you can also follow this video steps that I'm going to show. But there is no need to unlock the bootloader if you want to, to manually update your mobile phone with flashing a stock firmware, downloading it from the internet. If you are already having a custom ROM and you need to or you, if you want to flash the stock firmware back on the mobile phone, then in that case, we need to relock the bootloader. Custom ROM will always requires an unlock bootloader. We'll go to settings, then go to account backup. In case if you are having Google account or Samsung account, must remove any account if you are having it on your mobile phone to get avoid any issues later. Then go to lock screen and turn off the screen lock type by selecting the swipe now you can simply power off the mobile phone if you have done all these things that, that i just told now we'll move towards my computer screen so here are the files that i have downloaded already on my downloaded folder links provided in my video description first of all we need a samsung usb driver to be installed on the mobile uh, windows otherwise the mobile phone will not get detected by the windows in case if you are not having it then must download the samsung usb driver and install it on your windows then second is the cust uh, stock firmware file and the odin 3.13.1 now let me show how to download this stock firmware file this is the website link provided in my video description come here and then type your mobile phone model uh, like in my case i have galaxy a71 i will type here a g a l a x y galaxy a71 my mobile phone model is a 715 f now you need to know the model number of the mobile phone you can see that there are many more Galaxy A71 models. Must know what model number you have, right? You can go in settings and check the model number over there in your mobile phone. I have Galaxy A71F. F. I will click on it to select the uh, this model. Then scroll down, come down here, and you need to select the region. Like I am in Asia, so I will go for my country. I will look for my country in Asia and in case if you are uh, from Europe, you can uh, look for the, uh, your country in Europe, same way North America, South America, etc, etc, right? So we'll go to my, to my region and uh, here I will select my country from here, click on it, then come down once again to, to here and you will see files over here. So now my advice to download the latest release that is first fab 2024 right and the binary will also get uh, uh, change from a to b which means after flashing the stock latest firmware we cannot go downgrade to this firmware anyway even to this firmware binary a a means you can download from this one to this one but in case if you see b then you cannot downgrade to AA or 9, right? 
so go for the latest one click on it then come down here and uh, click any of these links to start downloading the file i will move towards my down uh, downloaded folder and then extract the stock from your file first by select uh, by right clicking on it and then extract i am using winrar for extracting the files after extracting the files you can uh, double click the extracted folder and uh, definitely you will see files in the extracted folder now we'll go back and then i will extract the odin 3.13.1 and then i will open the extracted folder of the odin then i will double click odin file to open the odin click ok on this window the odin will open now on the odin first of all click bl then go to your downloaded folder and open the stock from your extracted folder then select the file starting from the bl this one click on it then click open or you can even double click on it and then click ap go same to your downloaded folder select the file from starting from the ap double click on it to select the file then click cp on odin go same to your downloaded folder double click the file starting from the cp and then at the last click csc go to downloaded folder and double click the file starting from the csc now odin is ready to flash now coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the mobile phone into odin mode now you have to check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys just wait and here we go warning screen appears right then now on this screen press volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode now let me show my Odin mode screen so I am on uh, custom ROM so current binary is custom FRP lock is off and OEM lock is off the bootloader is already unlocked in the brackets you will see U which means bootloader is unlocked after flushing I will relock the bootloader now the phone is ready connect it with the computer boot it into Odin mode now on the computer screen the Odin will show com4 or whatever option you can see which means that Odin detected the mobile phone now simply click start here the flashing will get started now it will take a time you we have to wait so the flashing is about to be finished now here I would like to tell you that when uh, the flashing gets completed the mobile phone will get so reboot so we have to press and hold the volume up key volume down key to boot the mobile phone once again into warning screen to relock the bootloader right when the mobile the audience show pass means that flashing done done Hold the mobile phone, press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, release the both keys when you see warning screen. Now, doesn't matter in case if mobile phone not uh, booted into warning screen, in case if it is shows Samsung logo or in case if the mobile phone started booting to stock ROM, still you can boot the mobile phone into warning screen by pressing the volume up key, volume down key and power key just uh, keep it press holding it press the mobile mobile phone will show one screen then to release both keys but the cable must be connected if you want to uh, reboot into one screen now on the one screen if you can see that long press volume up key to re to boot loader mode screen press and hold the volume up key for little long another another screen will appears here we go lock bootloader on this screen you can see or you can read that press volume up key once for yes volume down key for no we need to relock the bootloader so i will press the volume up key once and the bootloader is now relock the mobile phone will reboot automatically and it will start erasing things 
Now you can see there is no more warning screen appearing on the mobile phone when it is starting booting. Erasing and then mobile phone will start booting to stock firmware. Now we can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. One more step left. I will do that when mobile phone booted into stock firmware. The first boot will take a time. We are done from the computer. You can close the Odin and we can close the computer now. Finally, mobile phone started booting to stock firmware. Finally, we got the welcome screen. First boot completed. I will complete the setup screen. We got the wallpaper of the stock firmware. Now, the step that was left to be done is to go to settings after when you complete the setup screen. Then go to about phone. And uh, my mobile phone got back to stock firmware. I have a, uh, two SIM mobile phone dual SIM set. So uh, both IMEs present over here. And A715 oblique DS is the model number of my Galaxy A71. We'll click, uh, we'll tap the software information. And uh, this is One UI 5.1, the latest Android 13 stock firmware, which was released for the Galaxy A71 currently. I have flashed it on my mobile phone. Now uh, tap the build number for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Developer mode has been turned on. We'll go back to my settings screen. Then we'll scroll down. Developer option over here. Tap to open it. And definitely you will see that OEM unlocking is not here. It's not prominent also. Now. Connect your mobile phone with the internet after connecting internet on the mobile phone. And then again, I will go to developer options. And this time I can see that o o OEM unlocking is back and it is on. So I have to turn it off. This is the final step to make the Celt mobile phone back to stock from here. Like, so restart the phone and just turn off the developer option also. When it is done, then you can simply power restart the mobile phone so the mobile phone is ready to use it with the stock firmware bootloader is already relocked completely the set is back to stock firmware thank you so much for watching the video keep sharing it with others like the video and do not forget to subscribe my channel we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye